Hey guys, so we are back this week reading another Super Slicer Shape Man video. Now, I know we did one of these like two weeks ago or a few weeks ago. However, the next one is going to be a two-parted special. Book 9 and Book 10 are both two-parted. And I feel like I want to do what we did last year where the final normal vlog of the year, aside from the end of the year vlog we always do, but the final normal vlog of the year, we're going to read part one of that. And then in the first vlog of 2018, we're going to read part two. So I wanted to get the eighth one done so we could do that. And since I decided to do it this week because the eighth one is a Halloween special, and since Halloween is like it's like in two weeks from now, or like not even, like a week and a half, I decided that since the Halloween skit is going to be next week, I would take this week to react to the Halloween special of Super Slicer Shape Man. So this one is called Super Slicer Shape Man and the Halloween Special. It's so cleverly named, like I can't even, and it's book eight in the series, so uh, I am really excited, as you can see by my amazing drawings. This is, this is, this is real artist stuff right here. My amazing drawings. They're amazing. So let's now put on our reading glasses and get started. <clears throat> so, for the table of contents, it is chapter one, Super Halloween Shape Man, what it's going to be called. And the table of contents, the table of contents is so wordy, I have it in front of me right now, so this alone may take ten minutes. The table of contents says, it's Halloween and Super Slicer Shape Man's Haunted. That's so wordy. Well, now we just basically know the whole book. Don't give away everything that happens in the store table of contents. Overwhelming. So, chapter one is called Super Halloween Shape Man. I can't, he's so clever with all this stuff. Okay, so the first page is Super Slicer Shape Man saying, It's Halloween night, spelled night like the, like the dragon medieval times one. So great spelling as well. It's Halloween night, so since I'm retired, I'm go. I can go as Super Slicer Shape Man because retired people, well, they dress as themselves for Halloween because there's he's, he's a completely different person now that he's retired. And also, people dress up as themselves for Halloween. It's a thing, and and it's not sad at all. It's totally not sad. So then he's going trick-or-treating as himself, not to mention, wait, hold on, hold on. Didn't, like, in book five or book six, he said that he was, like, 43 or something like that? Like, if you would recall back to, a, to when we were reacting to the fifth one, didn't he say he was 43 or something? And now I'm 48, so this takes place, like, six years after the last one. <sighs> yeah. Well, trick-or-treat, because 44. 40-something-year-old people go trick-or-treating. I know that for a fact. They totally do that. Trick-or-treat. He gets some candy. He says yes. Can't say thank you. Has to say yes. He keeps getting more candy. Yes. All right. What, what? Hmm. That's literally the whole entire page. It's just him saying... And I, I did not, it's like, read one thank you on this page. It's just him saying, yes! And he gave me the candy. Good! I'm not gonna thank you. He just gave me candy, you know? You didn't, you didn't do anything good. You didn't write this book. It's a good book. And it's sophisticated, hence the fake reading, not fake reading glass. It's totally real. And then it continues with him, on the next page, with him getting more candy, saying, awesome! Best Halloween ever! And then some strange guy who looks like a wizard pops up and says, Oh, really? And then Super Slicer Shape Man says, Huh? That's a, that's a great reaction. Guys, if a wizard ever pops up right in front of you, just go like, Huh? Don't, don't run away or anything like that. No, that's not a normal reaction to that stuff. Then on the next page, we got really creative by just showing the two characters as he, as he's saying, Uh-oh! That's just the whole fourth page. It's really, it's really creative. Ah! Chapter 2. Ah! That's a great chapter name. Anyway, all it says is, Happy Halloween, dumbhead. Turn the page, dumbhead. In two sentences, I got called a dumbhead twice. Some great vocabulary there. Oh, what do you know? Chapter three is already here. The 
Chapter 2 only contained of two sentences, and both of them are just calling me a dumb head. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore that, and I'll get angry. Anyway. Chapter 3. Happy Halloween. Spooky powers. Again, so much creativity goes into this work. Spooky powers, says the wizard guy. So then he's saying something here, but I don't know what it is because it was cut off. And all I know is the next part, he it's just saying H H H H. So ha 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 ha. I don't know. You try and read this. It's not easy. Okay. So now the wizard says, "Now Super Slicer Shape Man's paralyzed." And then Super Slicer Shape Man says, "Thanks for the candy." What? So the wizard said, now Super Slicer Shape Man's paralyzed, and he says, thanks for the candy. Well, that makes sense. No, I'm sorry, it actually turns out on the next page it was NATO Slicer Shape Man who said thanks for the candy, not Super Slicer Shape Man, it was NATO Slicer Shape Man, his brother. So, as you could tell, now that I'm getting confused by which one's which, oh, so much creativity went into the art designs. Like, each character has their own unique look, other than just an N or an S on their shirt to tell them apart. Anyway, so on the next page, he's saying, Brother Victor! And then he says, Wah! And then he just, Wah ha ha ha! And then he just screams, Fire! And then, uh,. Super Slicer Shape Man's not paralyzed anymore, I guess, because he says, Fire saved my life. And then... So, wait. Oh, so they're both trick-or-treating, aren't they? Like, 40 or whatever? And then they're both still trick-or-treating. Makes sense. So now here, Super Slicer Shape Man says, Hey, Brian, let's team up. And now NATO Slicer Shape Man says, Yeah, Victor, yeah! Then a random speech bubble here says, No! That was a really dramatic no. <clears throat> On the next page, just a bunch of pencil things that say, Shape of Grizzly Bear. It says Super Slicer Shape Man and NATO Slicer, NATO Slicer Shape Man says, Rattlesnake. And then they just turn into those animals as they bite him, I guess, or like attack him, and they say, and then they both say, form change fire. And then he screams, ah, as a big fire happens again. And then they are saved. Then Victor says, we did it, Brother Brian. And then uh, Brian says, we saved Halloween, Brother Victor. Because they call each other by brother, then their first names. They don't call each other by their first name. They guess that. They're too good for that. So then they just both say, happy Halloween to all. That was nice. Then the final page just says, The End, Happy Halloween. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. And then here, it's just another description. It, once again, very wordy. It says, It's Halloween and Super Slicer Shape Man's Haunted. Okay. Ha. The End. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This uh, episode of Super Slicer Shape Man really made me think of Halloween in a different way. And now I'm asking myself a question about Halloween that I didn't have before. And that question is, how have I never dressed up as a wizard before? That is totally what I'm going as this year. No, it's not. I tricked you, trick or treat. Why did I say that? That was so bad. No, but to find out what I'm really going as for Halloween this year, then make sure you come back for my new Halloween skit coming out next Friday to find out uh, what I'm going to be do going as for Halloween this year. And it's a Halloween skit, and those are always good. So, ma so make sure you come back for that next week, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Bye, guys.
Hey guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new Halloween video. Uh, to see the previous video we did, then watch Daily Life of Riley. And to see the last Super Slicer Shape Man Dash vlog we did, then watch Reacting to My Old Comic Book 7. Alright guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. To see last year's Halloween video, then watch There's an Invisible Ghost in My House. And to see the next Halloween video we'll be doing, then come back next week to find out. What happened? Alright guys, so thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! In reality, though, uh, I know that I kind of make fun of it as I'm going along, and I kind of joke around about it, but I just want to say that I do think that this was extremely creative, especially considering the fact that I was only, like, seven or eight years old when I wrote it. I think that it's extremely creative, and... I know I make jokes about it, but I do think that it is really good. So with that being said, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. And if you are wondering if those glasses I, I was wearing was real, then uh, no, they are not. Uh, these are just fake reading glasses I have because I was in like a little class play a few years ago. And I needed some uh, fake glasses for my character that look real. And I think that these are the ones that we used. So, but no, they're not real, even though I think that they look pretty realistic. Uh, not totally, but a little bit. But I'm getting sidetracked, so thank you all so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. I love you all so very much, and I will see you guys next week in the all-new Halloween video. Bye, guys. That was a weird one. I didn't do that. <laughs>